Hi everyone, my name is Vince, and I work at Galileo to develop programs to help kids grow as innovators. And I am Amelia, camper and innovator. We're here with today's active game called Marble... Madness! Marble! Madness! During this game, you work as a team using cardboard tracks to get your marble from a starting spot all the way into a container as quickly as possible without dropping the marble. For this challenge, you'll need to think like an innovator and be collaborative. You'll do this by communicating with your partner while you're playing and sharing ideas about how to complete the challenge faster and faster. To get started, you'll need to gather your materials. First, you'll need a thin cardboard box, like from a cereal box or snack box, a ruler, scissors, a marker, a marble, or some other small ball, like a ping pong ball, or a super bouncy ball, or a golf ball. You'll need a small container for the marble to fall into at the end, and some sort of timer. It's time to make a marble track for each person. The first thing you're gonna do is open up and flatten your cardboard box. Once you've done that, cut a strip of cardboard about as wide as your hand and at least eight inches long. The shorter it is, the harder the challenge. We started out by measuring 12 inches and cutting it at that length. Once you've cut the length, go ahead and place your hand on it and make a mark and cut it that wide. Once you have that, you're going to fold it in half to make a V shape. It's time to get started with your first challenge. You'll do that by deciding on a starting spot and placing the timer there. Then decide on the finishing spot and put your small container there. And now it's go time. Get your marble or ball in hand. And the first person starts the timer and puts the marble on their track. Now you both must be collaborative and communicate back and forth in order to pass the marble between your tracks without it falling and to get from the starting line all the way into the container but it wouldn't be a challenge without some rules. Number one, no one can touch the marble with their hands once it's on the first player's track. Players can only touch their tracks. Two, when the marble is on a player's track, that player cannot move their feet. Three, if the marble falls or someone touches it with their hands, the round is over and everyone must start again from the beginning and stop the timer. Now once the marble is in the container at the end, one player must run back to the starting line and stop the timer. After each attempt, gather together and design your next strategy. Be collaborative by sharing ideas about what you think you can do to go even faster. Try each other's ideas one by one or put them all together. And then test out your ideas by playing again and keeping track of your times. Once you've started to master a challenge, level it up. All right, Amelia, I think we've mastered level one. Would you agree? Yes, I would. Knuckles! Okay, let's brainstorm some ways that we can make this a little bit more challenging and fun for ourselves. What do you think? Hula hooping. Hula hooping? Like passing it while hula hooping? Oh. No. Oh, what were you thinking? Like, putting it down on the ground, putting the container down on the ground, and we can't step inside the hula hoop. Put it in the middle. Oh, all right, let's give it a shot. We tried Extreme Hula Hoop Challenge. The Passing It Under a Chair Challenge. And we also knew that shorter tracks are more challenging, so we tried that too. Thanks for joining us today! If you played Marble Madness, we would love to see how it went and what challenges you created, so please take a picture or a video and share it with us. 
See you next time. Bye.